His name is Joe Porter. He's the CEO of Black Time Entertainment. That's what he told me to say.
Good night. Make some noise if you feel good tonight. Yeah, all right. Here, guys, take some notes. Just pass some, uh, some of those articles around. He did a story on me today. Uh, as I make my way up the fucking ladder from poverty to back to riches. Oh, man, it's tough. A lot of shit going on. First of all, give it up to all these comedians, man. These guys are, you guys getting good, man. No shit, man. We got pros up here. For real. Man, a lot of shit on my mind, man. A lot of shit going on TV. You see that Michael Jackson shit? What the hell is going on with Michael Jackson? Does anybody know? Huh? Can you tell me? Because I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, I'm talking about a guy that I used to fucking idol. I'm talking about, man, fucking moonwalk, all that shit, you know? I love this guy, man. He's fucking dangling babies off the fucking 90th floor. You know what I'm saying? And that fucking makeup job. This guy is gonna fucking skin his whole fucking meat off. It's gonna be a fucking skeleton. Walking around with hair and shit. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson, man, it's crazy. Fucking man, the crime is fucking crazy. You can't even go to Quick Trip no more without fucking getting out and looking fucking around, seeing if there's any car brothers who are fucking around anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's getting crazy around here, man. I am so poor, man. I swear, I'm so poor. I wear these shoes. I'll tell you why I wear these shoes. I keep these shoes to remind me of the hard fucking times I've been through. And, you know, I fucking have walked the fucking souls out of this motherfucker. I mean, some days I'm fucking sad. Some days I'm fucking happy when he doesn't rain. You know what I'm saying? Fucking crazy, man. I'm gonna fucking put these in cement gold blocks. I can show my grandkids. You see the shit you guys have now? Grandpa fucking worked hard. Yeah, man. Oh, man, it's so fucking crazy, man. I'm trying to relocate out to the LA area soon. I don't know when, but I'm uh, working on it, man. I'm fucking working on it, man. Been back for about uh, about two years now in Wichita from Dallas. Dallas is crazy, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you something, man. You're lucky I'm doing comedy because if I wasn't doing comedy, I'd be robbing you right now. I'm telling you. Man, it's fucking hard times. There's no jobs here? What is going on? Let me tell you something, man. With the fucking no job situations, you know what that means? <laughs> you got somebody at home now, watching your house? Your apartment? Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked. But that's what it's coming down to, man. You fucking man, you know, crime and murder and, you know, you just gotta be careful, man. You gotta be careful what you do now, man. Cause I've seen a lot of shit, man. I'm a retired sports agent. I used to represent professional players in the National Football League. I'm the black, Jer I'm the black Jerry Maguire. And he says, anybody seen Jerry Maguire? Did anybody see that movie? That's me. That's my fucking life, man. I'm fucking trying to rebound, man. I showed you my shoes. I'm not shitting you. I'm trying to get back on top of the mountain, man. You guys remember fucking King of the Mountain? You got to fucking fight like hell to get up there. And when you get up there, you know, you know you're going to get fucking knocked out. You remember that shit? But you got to fucking keep climbing back up. You know you're going to get your ass knocked down, but you got to get the fuck up. You know? Man, that's how my life is right now, man. But I'm dealing with it. Smoke a little pot. Yeah, what well, fucking keeps me from doing ecstasy? Uh, met, met? You know, and all that crazy shit going on. PCP? This PCP shit's getting out of hand. And it's not only in the black neighborhood, it's fucking everywhere. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, so you have to fucking be careful, man. I have a different kind of comedy. My comedy is not as funny as maybe uh, Mr. Biggs, but uh, I try to deliver a message, man, because, man, we're going to die one day. You know what I'm saying? One day we all fucking going to die. You know what I'm saying? We try not to think about death. Do, do you think about death? Do you? Do you? Oh, shit. You, you're fucking original, man. You're thinking about death. You're a bad motherfucker. Man, I'm telling you. You have a plot? Have you a plot yet? Oh, you're not thinking about death then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? But you know, I when I die, man, I wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna go the traditional way. You know what I'm saying? Remember this shit? I don't wanna fucking be don't don't fucking cross my arms. Put a blood in my fucking arms 
and just fucking just everybody in the blunt when they come by. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that fucking original shit. Oh, man, he was a good guy. Fuck that. And on the other hand, we flipping you off and fuck you. Nah, that's crazy. Oh, man. Cricket cell phones. I have one too. <laughs> These son of a bitches. I could kill somebody fuck behind a fucking cricket. You know how many fucking business deals I've missed? Behind this fucking door? You know what I'm saying? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hell no! Can't even fucking hear you. I can't fucking keep a charge of my battery. The fuck is going on, man? Fucking this crooked. They got a great name for crooked business. Fucking what name? Man, you got a friend okay today? Look at all the beautiful women. A lot of white folks here tonight. Hell, yeah, where the black folks at? <laughs> You're fucking on the northeast side of town. That's where I'm at. I'm telling you, man. It's a trip being back in the hood. I mean, I left the hood to go to greater places and live in nice homes and shit. I'm back in the hood. I drive a fucking hoopty. You know what I'm saying? A fucking Park Avenue, 1984. I spend 20 bucks a day in gas. Fucking ridiculous. I got a carburetor problem or something. That shit fixed was killing me. Only paid 100 bucks for the car. Bought the car 10 times already, just in gas. Shit. My name is B.I.G. It stands for Believe in God because that's who saved my life. Thank you and keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Woo! Yeah. Nice round of applause for Mr. B.I.G. Don't keep the comedy going. Feel free with your laughter and welcome to the stage. Please welcome to the stage, B.I.G. B. Let's hear it for him. Give it up. Give it up, guys. Give it up for all the comments that just came up. These guys are fucking, man, you guys are incredible, man. I'm nervous as shit, man. There's a lot of white people here tonight. I wasn't prepared for this. You know, normally when you come out here, there's only fucking a few people. It's crumb tonight. The sunflowers in the house. WSU, where you at? Make a flash. Some camera, something, shit. Where you at? All right, anyway, the sunflower, man, my old alma mater. I'm a graduate of Wichita State. Played ball there before they dropped the program. Used to crack some heads. I was mean and shit. That's when I was doing drugs, cocaine, speed. I was a fucking maniac. I'm gonna try not to curse tonight, man. I swear. If I curse, I'm gonna give you one dollar. Okay? You get one dollar again tonight. Okay? Oh shit. We got the ego here tonight. The ego. Oh, I curse. See? You know what I'm saying? Oh wow. The ego's here tonight. Wichita ego, man. Wichita is a great city, man. I've been gone 12 years. It's great to be back. Um, kind of like uh, Howard Cosell, you know, turny turned uh, sports uh, caster and shit. I'm kind of an agent turned comedian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank God I have a little money in the bank. No, I'm just bullshitting. I'm broke as shit. <laughs> Matter of fact, I, was, I hated Bush until he approved that $600 billion fucking budget. I love Bush. I don't give a shit what you say. Bush is my buddy because I got an unemployment check last week. What the hell are you talking about, man? I love Bush, man. I can't wait to tell him, man. Might make it to the next week, man. Yeah. A lot of crazy shit going on. Talked to my buddy Snoop the other day. Give it up for Snoop Dogg. He pushed him over the week. Give it up. Give it up. I couldn't believe it. I had to call him. I said, man, Snoop, um, everybody's showing me the articles. I'm hearing on TV. I got to hear it from the horse's mouth, man. Have you quit smoking chronic? That good bomb ass shit you be having. Shit to make your head swell up. He said, nah, man. He's going through some court shit. You know, you gotta take them P-tests. Don't matter how much money you make, buddy. <laughs> when you deal with the law, it's your ass. Now, I went to jail not too long ago, man. That sucks. Anybody went to jail? Come on, jail. Give it up for jail. Yeah, I, yeah, it's fucking, you don't want to get hyped about that. That's no fucking place you want to be, man. It's jail. I mean, you got people that fucking go in there and they live for jail. They live for the free meal. You know what I'm saying? The free air. But they pay no fucking bills. I'm cursing now. I'm doing fucking terrible. I gotta get better. Gotta get better. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, a lot of crazy stuff going on. I'm glad that car brother shit's out the way, man. That's fucking terrible, man. Those dick, dickheads. I mean, I'm serious, man. I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't give them a death penalty. They deserve the fucking death penalty. Give it up. Give it up for the death penalty, man. Could have been fucking your dog. That could have been your dog. Getting it up the ass. Okay? You know what I'm saying? I was reading all those counts and shit. I'm like, damn. They was on some serious shit. They said Hennessy and weed bullshit. They was on some ecstasy, some LSD, bombing fluid, all kinds of shit. Hope they fry their ass is good. Oh man, the police. In Wichita, do you guys have enough police here? <laughs> I mean, every corner you turn, I mean, I'm like the Mexicans right now. No, no, thank you, no insurance. I have no fucking car insurance. So I'm turning right. Yeah. Uh, you know, every time I see the police, I turn right. Shit, the kid and the wife just, you know, what the fuck? Like, man, I'm, shit, I'm tired of this damn uh, tickets and going to court for no insurance. I mean, I used to be rich. I lost every penny I fucking had because of adultery. Adultery. Women know about adultery. They represent that. You mean the name's adultery. You got a good man. <laughs> your man find, you find out that your man's fucking playing on you. Guys, it's over with, man. I went to driving Jaguars to fucking driving a Ford Festiva. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was crazy, man, because I was used to being, I had to park my shit like way down the block and walk with my briefcase. You know, smiling and shit, and all my buddies putting up in big body escalades and shit. Like my shit's uh, down there somewhere. Oh, man, it's crazy. You guys feel okay tonight? Can you feel okay? 